So, I can say Hall of Illusion 85 is when it really gets difficult to try to beat them. 80 can be a bit difficult because Raya is just insane, but with a bit of RNG luck, you can beat it. But 85 is really, really difficult. So, I managed to just beat it right now, and I did it without Raya. Um, I did it with Julius, and I did it with this team. Now, Raya, you can get away with doing this, and it's easier with Raya, I say, but the issue is, is having the gear set for Raya. So, allow me to show what I mean, so, let me just go over here. Oh, so, what magic can you use? Raya, you have to build them a certain way. Uh, mine doesn't that really build sure. the best, but the thing is, Raya skills off both magic attack and um, attack. He has more attack than magic attack, so ideally, sometimes you want to build him just attack, but everything scales off with attack, you see, and magic attack equally, so you can build him either or. I have seen, like, he does more damage with mag magic attack. I try to do, like, a mix build here, and what I've seen is that you want this skill page where he deals more damage to the boss, or you can use darkness to give him a plus, you know, plus buff, but overall, it's kind of a bit difficult with Raya still if you don't have certain units. Um, I do have those units, but it's still pretty difficult, so I just don't have the gear for him. Like, you know, this is not really the best for him, but I got no other option. Like, I can't go full magic attack, full attack, because it just does not work. And I just managed to beat it with this, so I, I'll, I'll show a clip that like of me beating it the last 30 seconds. But it requires a bit of a setup and RNG, I say. The RNG part comes when you alt with Julia, so let me go in what I'm saying here. Yes, I know I power. And I did not do this with any food, alright? Um, you can replace Sally as well with um, Valtos if you wanted to, because Valtos buffs magic attack as well, but it's easier with Sally because Sally buffs your critical rate with her second skill. So, yeah, without that, it's gonna be more difficult. You also do need Swimsuit um, Ghost to do this as well with Julius. Um, I tried to do it with other units, but Ghost was just the more successful. Like, Finral kind of messed me up. And with Ghost, she's just gonna buff Julius. And getting that sun on him is really important, but most important is Charlotte. This is where the first RNG comes into play. This has the potential to give four debuffs. Now, I level this up. To have a hundred percent mark, so I get three no matter what, and now it's RNG and I get the fourth one. So I did get the fourth one. So Charlotte gives out four buffs: My reduce critical, resist by ten, reduce defense by ten, gives a mark, and reduces defense by sixty. So he has an eighty percent debuff lowered and ten percent critical rate lowered. So this is where the RNG starts to complain, come come in. So with two lists, you want to use skill two. Yeah. And he crit, which is good. And now with Sally, you want to use skill 2 on Julius to buff him and extend the buffs. And now with Ghosh, you want to attack him to raise all attack. And now you want to use the combo attack with Charlotte, because Charlotte, incapacitation, but increases damage by 70%. So now he has multiple debuffs layered on him. Now, he has incapacitation level 5. I'm sorry, I butchered. So damage increased by 70%, then we have the 4. This is where the biggest RNG comes to the place is Julius ult. So you need Julius skill page as well to make this work. Or maybe not, I don't remember if he needs skill page or not. But he has time accelerate. I forget what passive, I don't remember his skill page or not. But once it's 5 stack, it's gonna have a 50% damage increase. The RNG here if Julius crits with this ult. If he crits, you win. If he doesn't, and he blocks it, you don't win. So I'm gonna ult here. And he blocked it, so I do not- This is not gonna be a successful run right here. So, typically after that, what you would do is you would do normally buff with Ghost and stuff. But since I did not crit, I am gonna have to restart this. I'm gonna play the clip now where I did crit, and this is how the falling is gonna go with the- uh, With trying to do this. So, as you saw when I did crit, I did a bunch of damage, and that's the RNG here is how often Juliet's crits and how often he's gonna do big crit damage numbers. Ghosh being here helps with that because it may increases Julius's accuracy, and I believe accuracy helps when it comes to blocking. So, the more accuracy you have, the less likely they're gonna block. 
and so that's why Ghost is very important you here. Other, no if you don't have me. Sally, you can replace Sally with like Valtos or something because he gives magic attack and he gives um accuracy. But then you might have to find another person to replace that can ra raise critical rate because Sally raises critical rate. So that's really important. Charlotte, there's no replacing. You have to use Charlotte one way or another. So with that out of the way, let's go over gear. So uh, I did not switch up my Julius gear to be the most optimal. So that's why it kind of was a hit or miss run. This is my normal Julius gear. So what you typically do want to put on him, you want to definitely have like a t this attack. But you want to also, instead of having the speed one, you want to have some, one of the crit ones, you know? So either this to give him plus 7 crit damage, or you want to have the other one over here to give him a 5% critical rate. You're going to need this to make Julius's critical damage higher, because the higher critical damage, the more damage he's going to do when he crits. Critical rate is decent because Julius needs to be critting a lot. If Julius, like, even misses one crit... You potentially fail there if he blocks it, and especially when it comes down to that ultimate. If that ultimate gets blocked, you have to restart. You can make your life easier by getting food that buffs critical rate or just buffs your damage, but that's typically what you want to do to make your life easier. I did get this LR piece for critical rate to help me out. Um, I crap. Um, the other thing you can do if you don't have the star ones, go for the base ones. They're I, Now, the star ones are better, but the base ones aren't bad. I mean, this gives a 10% critical rate if you have 70 HP or higher, and you are going to be 100% HP. So that 10% crit, crit rate is definitely going to help. And the other one, you know, grants a 10% critical damage buff upon using special skills. So... You know, that will bump it up to do more damage. You definitely don't want speed. You don't want speed. I don't have the LR piece for this. But you're going to want magic attack, penetration to help maybe. You know, do more damage. And you're going to want crit. Crit is very important. For talents for Julius. So this is what I went with. So I went with the plus 10 critical damage. And I went with forgery. Is that how you say for Or forge city? I don't know. It which does 10% damage buff upon attacking a boss because he was a boss. You can also maybe go for the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Can't maybe go for this if you have enough critical gear. I went for the critical damage because I did not have the proper gear to give that my, you know, to give my Julius that, um, that buff. Um, as for the rest of these, um, they don't, the only one that really matters, I guess, is having Mage Blessing just so you can potentially do skill too often. Um, keep in mind, my Julius has everything maxed out here and has an almost maxed out skill page and he's maxed too. No, I am not a whale. I literally did 200 pulls and I got that lucky. Yeah, so, um, this skill page is really good, especially if, even if you don't have it leveled up. Um, you can use, you know, Breath of Darkness. It's basically the same thing, you know, all attack plus 16%. This is all at increase all attack, you know. Or you can use this one, which, um, if you have it, 12% damage increase upon attacking a boss. That is also helpful. Um, but more likely free to play, I'm gonna have a max out this. Damage plus 12%. Those will really help to help you with, um, take that out. Charlotte. Um, Charlotte, pretty much. I gave her her own skill page partner. because the reason why, when her skill page, what it does is that it has a 35% chance to inflict reduced critical resistance. Which means he's going to take more damage and be more likely acceptable to critical attacks. Which are very, de very important to this because crits are everything. You need Julius to be doing so much damage because you can barely not scrape by. For less RNG, I highly recommend you level up Charlotte skill 2 to level 4 so it has 100% mark. The reason why you want to do this, her passive LR. When mark is present, inflict 20% reduced damage on an enemy for 2 turns. That's good. so, and it's gonna inflict a level three defense. So that's gonna stack to eighty percent. All right, you need to do this. Charlotte needs to be LR. Charlotte needs to get that mark off. If you don't, it's gonna be hard. The crit one is RNG no matter what, so it's not that bad. You could also replace this. Um, I've seen some people try to use like magma skill page here, which has increased accuracy and pending, but that's mostly if you have a more DPS Charlotte. Um, Sally, um, Sally. So with her, um, you can raise up her skill too to increase the buff duration on Julius. I did not because I don't really use Sally. So I don't have a skill page either. So I just gave her Finroll to give a little speed buff, you know, to Julius. 
And then finally, Ghosh, I literally, he's probably the least important, honestly. Um, but the three of these guys need to have like a full speed gear set because they need to outspeed Julius every turn. Um, Charlotte doesn't really have as much because um, she she doesn't really need that much. She just needs this one because her natural speed is already faster than Julius, 112. Go um, has the full speed gear. They need to have this, otherwise Julius will outspeed them, and then your entire plan falls apart because Julius is too fast. They need to buff Julius. Charlotte needs to debuff before Julius attacks. I don't have his skill page too, so I just use Vanessa's because why not? You know, I literally have nothing. Okay. Um, talents as well for these guys don't matter really too much as well, um, except for Charlotte. Charlotte needs. Mage Blessing. You want Mage Blessing on Charlotte so you can get Markov as much as possible because let's say for example you crit on the ultimate but you don't crit on all your other attacks. If Charlotte is getting her skill to every other turn after you combo attack, Julius is still going to rack up the damage and likely be deleting his health. This is going to maybe take you a bunch of attempts so don't feel bad if you watch this and it's not working. It's going to take a lot of attempts. And you still think you're not doing, you can't do it. All right, maybe you need to farm a bit more gear because your oh, Julius needs to be around thirty-five thousand magic attack in order for this to work, and his critical damage needs to be around the sixties. Without that, you are going to struggle, and it's going to be very heavy, even more RNG than it already is. Now, the last thing I will say um, about this is that for your lineup, okay, you definitely. You definitely want your lineup. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. You definitely want your lineup to be this. You want Julius and Charlotte paired together because when they combo attack, Charlotte will inflict incapacitate level five, and Julius will get to do a free shot. Julius's combo attack. If he has a buff, he increases damage by forty percent and inflicts a ten percent re reduced. That really doesn't matter here because you can't slow him. But that's really good to have that 40% damage increase because Julius is getting another freebie shot at him. If you do not have Sally, like I said, Valtos might be good. If you don't have Ghost, Valtos is good. Pretty much just Valto deeds. can be a filler, but you cannot replace Charlotte. You can also maybe try to the do this, but this is more RNG because no Finral only increases attack and not magic attack. I find it just easier to Nobody have this, but, good test subjects but this can Master also work, or this Nobody can also work, okay? If you do use Voltos though, you're gonna need to give him Mage Blessing as well for his I skill too. For his sake. And you're gonna have to be careful when using his this skill as well. That's really all the advice I can give right now. Um, I wish you luck in trying this. It's gonna take a lot of attempts, so don't feel bad if you can't do it and also don't call me a liar that it doesn't work <laughs> so yeah it's very rng but um i think some you can do it again there's other videos we're using raya that you could potentially do and i'm sure someone's gonna come up with the with another one soon so um yeah i apologize as well that my vanessa's video is taking so long did i say vanessa i apologize as well my veronica video is taking longer than i thought i just went back to work so yeah hope you all um, can able to clear this and if you want me to do one for stage 80 or the higher ones, let me know until then also out bye